Hello, my name is John. Today we'll be looking at how to export data from Zapma Stock Essential Stock Tax into the popular financial package called Zero. Firstly, we'll just check our server URL to make sure our scanner is correctly configured. Okay, well, these two files, the lookup CSV and ash.csv files, are the ones we'll be using. Let's open up Zero. Zero is a cloud based program. We need to go to Business and Products and Services. We'll be exporting some information. We'll need to export our opening balances. Here we are. Download existing opening balances. We click on the link. And this opens up a, um, or downloads a CSV file, which op opens up in Excel. And here's the information that we need. Uh, one of the pieces, at least, anyway. This is the product codes. You can see along the top, we've got the various column headings. We have both the quantity and value of items on hand. So we've got a quantity column and a value column. We want to save this information and we'll go to save lookup CSV. So we're saving it as lookup CSV file. So this will be our new lookup file. We also want to save this same information as our asp.csv file. Okay, now we have that information uh, copied effectively. Both the lookup and ASP CSV files contain the same data. Let's open up lookup CSV, and here we are. Here we have the uh, inventory information, items, names, so forth, total quantity of value in hand, and um, count. Okay. Now let's have a look at the lookup file settings for Zapma Stock Essential. Let's go to the configure lookup file and uh, here we find that yes, we have headers in place already. So we'll use the uh, first line is headers tick box. And then we want to set up uh, barcode is the item code, uh, part number is the item name. And um, just the only other thing we need is really quantity. So quantity is quantity on hand. Okay, that's set up for the lookup file. Let's do the same thing for the output file, the asp.csv. Okay, so of course we have uh, the first line containing field names and we want to check the, uh, click the add um, to map field box. And again, uh, barcode is item code, part number is item name, and um, the total count is the uh, quantity on hand. This sets up both files, and we can now do our, our stock take. So we'll um, proceed with the stock take, and we'll upload the stock take data, which is the, uh, the new CSV file um, containing a new counts up into Zepma Stock Essential PC program. So having done that, we can open a, the asp.csv file. Notice the ticks here on... Uh, Successful transfer. Open the asp.csv file and see our new counts. So here we have uh, different quantities that we've counted. And notice though that the total value on hand uh, hasn't changed. Um, it doesn't actually have the cost per item information to be able to change its value. So we'll have to have to do that uh, next. We want to open up zero again, and this time we want to uh, go through and export information, the, including the cost price for each item. So we'll do that, uh, export as a CSV. Again, here we are opening up in Excel. And this is uh, some additional information on our stock situation, as well as, of course, the uh, purchase unit price, what we're looking for right there. Now, this information contains other, other items, some of which are, are not, uh, not counted. So we can't just copy this column and paste it across our uh, uh, our other sheet, our ASP.csv file, because the, the numbers wouldn't match. So what we'll need to do is take both of these files, um, so the inventory we've just unloaded and the ASP.csv file, I'm going to drag it across here and we're going to put the ASP.csv file uh, as a separate um, sheet in the same book. Okay, so now we've got both. And what we want to do now is we want to drag across uh, the costs for each of those items. And we do that with a, a formula. 
here's a, a lookup formula. You can pause the video and, uh, and copy this uh, if you like, but basically what it will do is we'll look up uh, the inventory sheet, uh, it'll look up the item code, and pull across into this sheet uh, the actual cost for each item, which we can then use to calculate total value on hand. Now the formula needs, of course, to um, to know which sheet it's working with. So here we put in the name of the uh, uh, the sheet, the primary inventory sheet. So I'll type that in. Okay, and this uh, this same uh, name, the same sheet, uh, is uh, also repeated in the next part of the formula as well. So it knows where where to fetch the data from, uh, which section to look up. Now, notice I'm putting this in an arbitrary cell, just a, a cell in one of the columns um, that lines up with our our items. And as I complete that and just drag down the the row, here we are. We've got now cost for each of our items that's been pulled from the other sheet. So now we can calculate total value. How do we do that? Well, under total value, we have equal to the cost multiplied by the quantity. And as I drag that down, these are our new total values and quantities, which don't match. So now we can save this sheet uh, as our uh, new ASP CSV file, and we have uh, quantity and value which are correctly matched. Uh, we may need to put in perhaps the adjustment account if required for the items that don't have it, if uh, that is the case. We'll save the sheet as our ASP.CSV file. We go back to zero. We want to now import our stock count, go back to opening balances, and right at the bottom it has um, upload um, the CSV template. Of course, make sure you pick file first. Here we go browse. We're going to be uh, loading our ASP.CSV file that we've just, uh, we've just uh, modified. All good, seven items, total value is listed. Complete the import. Okay, now we can see that we have the total quantity on hand, which has been updated from our, um, from our stock take. So uh, zero does require the total quantity on hand to be put together with the uh, total adjustment. We've done that, so we successfully transferred the data into zero from Zapma Stock Essentials. Hope this video has been useful to you. See you next time.